I've been making so many uh, of these types of videos and the last couple showed this front room that was kind of a disaster because, you know, I've been doing so many things out front that this front room kind of became a disaster. And it doesn't look, well, I mean, I've been working on this and it doesn't really look beautiful because it's staying empty in order to ultimately take in everything that's outside. But I did kind of work on it. You know, it had, it had, um, potting soil everywhere and it just, you know, it had pots just thrown around. So I moved a bunch of things, swept everything. Now, um, I had forgotten what was in here. It's actually water with miracle Grow. So anyway, I did a bunch of rearranging. So I put this here so that I can scoop out of it and water the outside plants. And, you know, <laughs> that's to decorate, to decorate a trash can. So, um, so, you know, when it gets a little bit colder, this will be occupied with plants. But anyway, I just sort of, I don't know. Just stacked it all together just to be a little bit neater. This was just starting to get thrown around and I had, I mean, I had literally dropped a bag of potting soil on the floor, things like that. This came from the garage and it was completely loaded up with dust and things. So... Uh, this was piled up with things. There had been a box here for, I was going to say weeks, no, months. And this right here was what was in the box. You can do pancakes and vegetables and things and who knows why I just hadn't opened the box I hope it works because it's long past the time to send it back to Amazon and I have had a whole bunch of things under here and on top I was potting things so there was there was dirt everywhere this had been up towards the front because when all the plants were indoors, I had my vines in here. And so that will ultimately move back when I bring things back inside. But I wanted to get that big bucket of water closer to the front door. So I've cut some of these because mostly my propagation of snake plants were a failure. So I tried to do longer ones. And partly the reason that they were a failure is because I didn't let them harden over. And I think Maybe also because I cut them too short, but that's generally not a problem. People people do cut them short. Um, so I, I got the propagations from this one and that one. 
You know, see, I, I hacked it all up everywhere. That's where I took all the propagations from. And basically, I didn't get much of anything. This may have worked in here. It was little tiny, tiny, tiny hairline roots. So I have gone with it and planted it in soil and we'll see. We'll see if that actually works. See what I, I haven't figured out is that's a rack that I bought recently for my clothes and I don't have any space in my room. So I think that when the season fully changes, I'll uh, fold all those shirts up and put them someplace. And this here, um, that little stand came from my father's condo. And I said, look, there's a spot for it. It looks like it was bought for it. So I just wiped it, wiped it up and um, put it there. It had been sitting in the garage for just a couple of months. It wasn't that dirty, but looks perfect. That came from his place. It's probably not gonna stay there forever. That came from his place. Again, probably not gonna stay forever. In fact, I think what we're going to do is move that kind of like uh, fainting couch, lounging, lounging couch. That particular lounging couch was not a part of the couch and love seat. That couch and love seat came from Ashley Furniture. And then, I don't know, a year, two years later, I saw that lounging couch at um, one of the thrift stores, maybe Salvation Army, maybe Habitat for Humanity, and I bought it. In fact, even the feet looks like it matches, but I don't know. It technically doesn't really belong with it. You would almost think it does, but... Um, so we put it there, but it's, I don't know, looks sort of okay. But anyway, um, since I've been cleaning up last night, I said to Mike, I said, you know, we've had these colonial end tables sitting here ever since we had the colonial couch that came from my townhouse that I had that we ended up getting rid of. And for some reason, I kept the end tables, which I probably should have just gotten rid of the end tables at the same time. They don't belong, really. But, I mean, they hold, they hold, um, they hold the candlestick Lamps, which I really love those candlestick lamps. So, um, but it's been like, well, what do I put over there? So last night I said, you know, I think that wall needs, um, that, that wall needs something. That wall needs seating. So he said, how about, and I started thinking about the same thing as he was saying it. He said, how about moving this over there? And I said, yes, I think that's a good idea. Now, what does that mean for that wall? I don't know. Maybe, maybe my clothes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, and what does it mean for the end tables and the candlestick lamps? Okay, well, 
I will be keeping the candlestick lamps, I know that. But those end tables, they just don't fit. All right, anyway, in here. Now, what am I going to do for those that I bought? Those are recent buys. But in here, you know, I've freed up that entire wall. That is just amazing. Oh, and, and I dealt with that. Now, underneath it, that's similar, sort of similar. Um, to the grill. I bought those somewhat, is that my guy? There's a tree cutting guy that's coming. No, why did I think that sounded like him? No. Um, okay. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I bought those. Now, it may turn out that when my plants start coming back in, those tall glass things may end up in front of these windows, which would mean that I would be rearranging these. Now, if this gets moved over here, now, the lighting is not going to be the greatest on the side here. But I'm willing to get grow lights. So, um, they, I don't know. I have a lot of options. So, I have a grow tent as well. So, lots and lots of options because I don't really have... Um, items to display. I've already found a solution for my Fenton glass shoes. Um, and I did show this that's sitting there. That This ultimately is going to get another pass through and get even cleaner, even more organized. But that that's kind of amazing that that held the way it did and um, there's still there's still places in here and I can add a couple of shelves as well so that's kind of amazing and these air cleaners need to get distributed through the house because this house is very dusty so um, I don't know why those air cleaners were just getting stored and not used oh but yeah so um i was saying that there had been a few things here on the fainting couch now this fainting couch um i don't know if i'm going to save it don't know if i'm going to save that particular pillow that gold pillow and it just stuck there. Um, but the fainting couch, if, if I had a reason, if I had some sort of function, I mean, the only thing this corner does is that there's a Wi-Fi down there. But, and a fuse box. But if there was some other reason for this corner, again, there's... You know, you have to walk through. This whole house is a hallway. Um, and my massage table. But, you know, if I could figure out something to do. I mean, one of the things that I thought about one time is that Ashley makes a pub table to match this. Well, they did. I, I don't know if they still do, but... Um, they had made a pub table to match this, and so I thought, actually, I'm not really sure if I ever thought about doing it here, but I had 
thought about doing it over here. And it was actually too wide to do it there. So had I actually thought about doing it here, like one continuous um, table, basically? Yeah, I'm not really sure if I had actually thought about pub table, flat table, or two tables, you know, two of those. Now, I'm not sure whether these chairs, these chairs were horrendously expensive. Um, I think that they came from an online place called something like Seats, S-E-A-T-Z, some kind of an interesting name. Um, okay, anyway, I'm still moving here. So, now, dishes are not my favorite thing to deal with. So, um, Mike, some, Mike sometimes loads up the dishwasher. Um, this is all going to the trash here. But, um, I have redone the shelves. So all of this food had been over here. I don't know why I did it that way because this is closer to the kitchen. So, um, and the canned goods were making this plastic one sag. So I got all the food on just one single shelf and um, there's still more space. I think, you know, I really don't know what happened to my larger pots and pans. They might be in the red barn, actually. So, there is actually space for some of my larger pots and pans, like the colander. That's like, that is, has never really had a good, easy place to grab. So, um... Now that's just, I found this the other day and I said, what is this? There's, they're actually trash bags, but they're enormous sized. So I started trying to say, does this ever have an end? And I got it all, you know, messed up from the roll. At some point, I don't know why I did this, but maybe it was when I was doing an Airbnb in the house, I ordered an enormous amount of cappuccino. So I'm stuck with this huge amount of cappuccino for the Kureg. I'm way overdue to make some spaghetti. I have so many cans of tomato sauce, tomato paste, and all that kind of stuff, and that would really get that dwindled down. I obviously don't really hoard things. And let's see, is it over on this side maybe? Where did I put them? Light bulbs. When Mike changed all the light bulbs over to daylight, um, I'll have to ask him about this. Yeah, this whole this whole box is full of light bulbs, and I'll have to ask him to make sure. I said, I, I think I said to him, "Do we really want to keep the old ones?" Because I think we did, and. I, I really don't want to store all the light bulbs that we said that we didn't want because the, the, um, well, here's an example. 
if you see into the main front room, we hadn't gotten around to replacing the one fan light. See, do you see the difference? How yellow that one fan is, the one that's not turning. It's so yellow, but the one towards the front is a daylight. So there's just no reason to keep the ones that we took out. I mean, true, they're not burnt out, but you know, there's just no reason to keep them. It looks better. It just makes the house look better for the daylight bulbs. Now, I wasn't a believer in that at first because um, reading, doing any reading to daylight bulbs at first, I was not adjusting to that. But definitely just brightening up your house. Daylight bulbs, I think, are far, far superior. In fact, I'm not sure if this light has a daylight bulb in it. Yes, I think it does. But just the shade itself, maybe, maybe that shade itself, and then I guess I would have to match. But it's just it's so, so dim. I don't like it when it's, I'm trying to, you know, make it bright in here and that does not do anything for this eating area. But anyway, um, and then, um, okay, this needs some work in here, but um, this little rocker had been in the front room and um, so that had been between the colonial end tables with my candlestick lights, but um, I don't know, somehow it ended up back here. And so um, just, this may end up just going away, just leaving the household. There had been thoughts of, yeah, there had been more radical thoughts. There had been a thought at, at one time that I was going to get rid of this, this stove altogether and then patch this. But, you know, I get a lot of radical thoughts and then I kind of change my mind and then, you know, scale it down to something more reasonable. This had been in this had been in a built-in uh, grill and you can see the imprint there was a built-in grill here it was built like a, like an oil tanker with uh, structural steel like a uh, channeled steel and uh, it was wired here and uh, that took some doing to get that out luckily it wasn't uh, cemented in like this actual steel wasn't cemented in so oh yeah the pool is is all covered up hello Charlotte oh Charlotte loves to yeah you love to run right on top of that don't you Next time I'm out there, I'll have to make sure that all the uh, holes were patched on the um, cover because the cover is pretty old. So another thing that I did was I went through and uh, took out everything that was under there because that was a big issue for here basically this whole middle section and some of that was nothing but cleaning products so they the cleaning products 
ended up in here. And there was a lot of Febreze. There was one or two dog cleaning things. There was a couple of Cloroxes. And then there was just a couple of taller things that didn't fit anywhere. So they went into my sewing room. Oh, and then I just didn't have any idea what to do with this reg rack so my sewing room will eventually need to be dealt with as well that's been a little bit of a catch-all so yeah by some people's standards they might walk through my house and say, oh my God, oh my God. Well, yeah, but you didn't see where it began though, so. And you know, there was a lot of things that came in from my father's condo. There was a lot of things that I had to do. I had to fly to Florida. Um, and uh, a lot of things going on. So that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? And... Uh, I had a very limited wardrobe and I had to toil and toil and toil on Amazon and try to find different unique things to wear. <laughs> so anyway, and I just had to, yeah, am I going to do this? No. I'm not. I am not going to show you my plans again. No. No, I'm not. No. That would be bad. What movie is that? That um, they show that dogs misbehave when um, the, uh, the zebra kind of tells them to misbehave. The zebra causes all the trouble. So, no. I'm not going to show my plants again. The zebra won't make me do it. Okay. That was another house tour. All right. Signing out.